Vauxhall is another British company, but for the sake of time, I'm not doing a British accent for this video. Maybe next time though. Anyways, hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to episode 951 of Lego History. For this episode, we're going to have a look at Dolby Remastered and Vauxhall Remastered. First, we'll start with Dolby. Here's the short by those of you who don't know what Dolby is. It is an audio noise reduction, audio encoding, spatial audio, and HDR imaging company that was founded on May 18th, 1965 by Ray Dolby. Their headquarters are in San Francisco, California. As of 2014, there are 30 plus locations. Its key people are Peter Gotcher, executive chairman, and Kevin Yeeman, president and CEO. Its products include Dolby Digital, Dolby Pro Logic, Dolby SR, Dolby Stereo, Dolby Surround 7.1, and Dolby Noise Reduction System. Its subsidiaries include Autistry, Doremi Labs, and Via Licensing. And as of 2022, they have 2,336 employees. And their website is Dolby.com. So let's take a look. Wow, this dude's doing drums. Yeah! Rock on, dude. Music comes alive in Dolby. Movies and TV transport you in Dolby. And then what's the, yeah, gaming is leveled up in Dolby. Um, yeah, Dolby is culture. Check out what's new in Dolby culture. Yeah, uh, discover how award-winning director Greta Gerwig uses Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos to create a fresh, modern, and enchanting world of Barbie like never before. And yeah, I'm not gonna read all this. I'm just, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna skip over it, but I'm gonna say this looks really fucking cool. Like, like this would, this looks something, you know, that Aphex Twin would use for a cover art for one of his, like, albums or EPs or something. I don't, I don't know why. Or maybe some other, like, IDM artist. But, yeah, let's go back to the slide. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 1965 to 2007, um, uh, we have, like, two black rectangles with like a regular D and a reverse D uh, in, like in the other one. And next to that, we have the word Dolby in black text. 1971 to 2007, pretty much the same as the last logo, but like um, the icon became bigger and, and the font of the word Dolby changed and it's now inside this uh, black rectangle. 2007 to 2019, um, uh, the icon is no longer split into, like, two separate rectangles. It's now unified to become, like, one, like, uh, rectangle. And also, uh, the font of the word Dolby changed again, and it's no longer inside of a black rectangle. And finally, 2019 to the present, um, the two Ds are no longer inside, um, uh, the rectangles, or, or, or the rectangle, um, and, uh, they're also black now. And the font of the word uh, Dolby changed once again. And finally, we'll move on to Vauxhall. Here's the short by those of you who don't know what Vauxhall is. It is a British car company that was founded in 1857 by Alexander Wilson. Their headquarters are in Charlton, Bedfordshire, England. Its key person is James Taylor, MD. It is owned by Stellantis. And as of 2011, they have 4,029 employees. And their website is vauxhall.co.uk. So let's take a look. Electric streets of Britain. We're accelerating residential on-street charging across the country. Click here to find out more and help us electrify Britain. Okay, I'm just going to scroll through this website. They have really sick cars, though. Um, yeah, uh, let's just, go, let's just uh, go back to the slide here. And now, without further ado, let's get started. 1857 to 1983, uh, we have a sick looking black uh, eagle with like a tail on it. I, I, I might have gotten this wrong, or, or maybe is it in like, or maybe is it like a like an albatross or something? And it's holding um, a pole, like a flag uh, with the letter V in it for Vauxhall. 1983 to 1989, um, uh, the logo became white. There's no longer a V in, in the flag. And um, it's inside this like a uh, red square with white outline and below uh, the eagle or albatross or whatever, we have the word Vauxhall in white text. 1989 to 2003, we have a red circle and inside the circle, we have uh, the white eagle again and it's holding um, uh, the flag with the letter V in it again. And uh, below the circle, we have the word Vauxhall in black text. 
2003 to 2008, it's basically like the uh, icon from the previous um, logo, but it's, uh, it's it's more 3D. The white eagle became like a sil silver eagle, and it, it, it's 3D now. 2008 to 2009, um, we have the uh, eagle again holding uh, the V flag, and it's inside this uh, black circle with a silver outline, and on top of the circle, we have the word Vox Hall in black text again. 2009 to 2011, um, yeah, we have the um, eagle again with, with the V flag and it's inside a red circle. Yeah, the circle went from black to red and, and, and the eagle itself um, slightly changed. And the word Vauxhall um, is now in, uh, in a gray text instead of black text. 2011 to 2020, uh, nothing much has changed. Um, the, uh, the, the eagle and the outline of the circle became more a little 3D, I guess, and uh, the word Vauxhall became a bit darker. And finally, 2020 to the present, they went for a little more of an uh, oversimplification here. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so yeah, the eagle became red and um, the V flag changed. The circle went from like red with silver outline to uh, just a red circle. And uh, the word Vauxhall went from uh, gray, like it was in the previous logo, to dark blue. All right, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you on Tuesday for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 952, Radiohead. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.